What's up foodies? Today I'm going to show you how to season your carbon steel pan. This goes for both carbon steel and cast iron as they season exactly the same. The main thing is not to overthink it, so let's get into it. Alright foodies, as you can see I have a new pan here. I'm using a Deboye pan. I'm not a sponsor but I love this brand of pans and they're well built, a bit thicker than other brands of carbon steel. So yeah, I just love them. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to grab one yourself. We are going to start by giving our new pan a nice wash. When they ship carbon steel pans to the store, they put a thin layer of food grade wax on them or oil to keep them from rusting when being shipped. And we need to remove that coating before we season our pan. I like to pour over some boiling water and use a scouring pad. I give it a good clean and try to remove as much of that wax as I can. Once I have tried my best at removing that coating, I'm going to give it a good dry and place the pan on a burner set to medium heat for about 30 seconds, just enough to warm the pan up. Doing this will help open the pores of the pan and let oil in and adhere to the pan for a better nonstick coating. I'm going to use a small amount of oil to coat the inside and the outside of the pan. Now personally, I don't tend to stress on what type of oil I use. I just like to stick to the good old fashioned canola oil or olive oil to season my pans. Rub the oil into the pan, it should look like there's not enough oil. You only need a super small amount of oil on the pan to polymerize and give you a good nonstick surface. Having too much oil will cause uneven spots and a tacky surface when you're done. Once you have rubbed the pan all over and it looks like this, we're going to place the pan onto a burner. Turn your burner onto high, and note this is best done with a burner with a flame, as the heat will go up the sides of the pan and help create a nonstick coating on the sides. Once the pan is seasoned, it's fine to use on a flat top or an induction stove. As the pan heats up, it's going to go from a silver color to a dark brown or golden color. The goal here is to get the pan smoking hot. There should be a decent amount of smoke coming from your pan. You probably want to have a few windows open when you do this, or you're going to be setting off all the fire alarms in your house. Make sure you move the pan around to get up the sides of the pan to make sure they get nice seasoning as well. You'll know when you're done when the pan stops smoking. Now, this is the first season and the pan is ready to go. Now the pan may not be super non-stick when you first do your first couple of seasonings, but the more you use this pan, the better non-stick coating it's going to develop. Once you've seasoned your pan, you can do this a few more times if you'd like, but the main thing to keep your pan seasoned or to get it more seasoned is to use it. Use it every chance you have. The more you use it, the better the non-stick surface will be. Giving your pans a little TLC goes a long ways. These pans should last for a very long time. It should be handed down to the next generation. And that's it for today. So if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, a subscribe down below, and until next time, foodie out.